Right, that's fuel sorted out. Hands up, everybody who wants to go to a big tractor dealership and look at big, red, shiny machines. that flat then. Last time I come up here there was a fuel station there and a big shop and all gone. Right, we're, we're just going through Tetbury now on our way towards uh, the Foss. Uh, George from CFM messaged me a couple of days ago and said, well he basically invited me to go to the CFM along with probably hundreds of, other, hundreds of other people to go and look at their stock, new stock of I think it's Schaefer uh, telehandlers, so they've taken on the uh, dealership for that. And I said, yeah, if I get a chance, I'll come up and have a look round for you. I might even bring the camera. And he said, that's fine, you put the tea on and the biscuits. So that's where we're going. CFM, up by Foss Cross, um, yeah, to look at big, shiny red things. Actually, while I'm here, I might pick up a couple of filters and that for my MXU. So he is due an oil change. That's, that's George, he's stuffing his face. See, that would probably be all right. Yeah, exactly. That would be the ideal thing. That would be big enough for what I want. A bit more of a forklift. I can get in the side of it without yeah, having. A bit more than a forklift. And there's room for the dog. <laughs> yeah. Be That's here. quite it. She, she does, she does do that occasionally, yeah. yeah. Just to remind you of me, your dad, I'm going to lick your ear. So, <laughs> yeah. Only thing is, this is more of a yard machine. I'm not sure how you, I'm not sure how you do in the you dirt. Almost need like a four-wheel drive one to uh, yeah. deal with the, the dirt. Oh, I think he, get, I think he might get a bit bogged up. But that's the sort of size. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, but not that one. Wrong tires. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong tires. Wrong tires. And you want four-wheel drive. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe a bit more. Uh, yeah. In the back there. That's too big. I think. I think what you need is the stick one of these in the washing machine to shrink yeah. it. You need. You need the baby version of what yeah. they, they did. But yeah. I just haven't got enough work for that. Yes. Although I dare say I would invent some. You know. You'll find a way. Oh well, the tree. The tree team will steal it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll have it for moving this stuff around, or we'll put a man basket on it, or we'll go and trim they're someone's someone's versatile. garden edge. You do get that versatility in them having the four wheel drive. And, yeah. Uh, Quite a bit of boom height and so on. Yeah, uh, I can see I can see a man basket on there, a trimming edges, because mm. they would. Yeah, they'd steal yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's too big. Maybe that one. <laughs> the MDS. That's two bags. Still two bags, isn't it? Yeah, you'll still put two bags in there. Yeah. The little trading machine. Is it? It was clean, clean enough. But that's a bit. So you got all of it. Okay. 
I'm glad I, I'm glad I stood yeah. back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I stood back, yeah. George will be your man on, uh, on, uh, on this one. Listen to uh, trade <laughs> so how big's the engine and what does it lift? Uh, you know I didn't want you to ask me simple <laughs> questions because I've not got my, uh, my, I didn't do my homework. Oh, did you I, not? I was too busy putting out bits of tape. You sound like Marley. Like, I'd never heard of him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Strange fella, yeah. yeah. So, so I, was, I was only just going to show you this one, uh, Ian, because to me it, it might be kind of a sort of nice size yeah. for competing with what you do with your skid stick. Okay. Uh, the advantage of it is we can order them with the telescopic boom. Right, okay. So, so you have got a little bit more facilities for, you know, maybe unloading a straw trail if you've got more bales and things on there. Yeah. Going across the straw trail. Would, would you lift into, lift into a grain trailer, though? Uh, yeah, it would do. Would yeah. it? Yeah, a grain trailer it would. Oh. A silage trailer would be limited. Yeah. Yeah. Or about a grain lorry? Um, I don't... I wouldn't have thought it would do that. No. 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 So... Because Reg is retiring, so I got to find, I might have to find. Oh, yeah, again. Again. Yeah, yeah, he's retiring again, so um, I might have to find a machine that we can load our our corn okay. into yeah. a grain lorry. So yeah. I might be forced to have something a bit bigger than that. Yes. Well, they they, they make I think 52 models. Is it? Shaper. They're, yeah. They're, they're pivot steer specialists. Yeah. Agricultural pivot. pivot steer I'm not sure about pivot. I've never. I've not had a good experience with pivots yet. Right. Because okay. I find them a little bit. And there's nowhere for the dog to sit in there, so that's... Well, not on this one, not yeah. on this one exactly, no. Although I reckon we might better make a little bit of a dog basket extension. Check the out. That could be a selling point. Yeah. Yeah, it could be a selling point, so... <laughs> nice little flat space there, get the basket on there. Yeah. yeah. And it's a nice little machine. Cute little Kubota engine. So yeah. Brilliant little uh, little diesel engine. Yeah. Um, hydrostatic drive. No ad blue, because no he ain't got enough power, so... No, no. Uh, I mean, you can get a row registered and put boom suspension on them. Oh, right, okay. If you were getting really excited. I don't get too excited because that gets expensive. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of more into that type of machine. Just a, a, a kind of sort of, yeah. Fixed, yeah. Fixed side but, boom. But, but they're too big. So mm. so if you get a small version of that in one day. They do They do make a smaller version. Yes. Mm. Yeah. These, these are all the same skid, skid unit for yeah. six or seven meters. And yeah. They do do a, a model smaller than that. Yeah. Which, uh, which might be the... Well, when you get a nice second-hand one, then you can afford. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll find something. Yeah. Fun. It's just, you know, how old or how many hours, depending on what your budget is usually. Yeah. Um, and well, if you're buying something second-hand with hours or um, or a bit of age, you probably want to buy something that's, you know, quite robust. Yeah, so it's been looked after as well, so... Brand, yeah. Yeah. Um, mm. Well, these guys are made in Germany, aren't they? German-made, yeah. Yeah. So They've been going... About 60 years, I think, 50, 60 years, yeah. Mm. And, and they're not mass production. They no. They make 20 a week. Oh, really? Okay. And then... What have you done? You broke it. No, I've got to set the ground here. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh dear. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Take her for a ride in the bucket, it'd be all right. I think she's upset there's no seat as well there. Yeah. Then. We're going to upset dogs and children with the little one. ones by the looks of it. <laughs> Okay, so they're quite a, quite a kind of a hand-built product. Yeah. So once they once the chassis and everything's welded together and sprayed up, then they'll go into a, kind of their own little booths almost. And okay. A team of engineers then that will basically assemble them from start to finish. Yeah. So you don't get any kind of errors along the way when it moves from one person to another. Yeah. Um, I mean, the one massive advantage that's got over my skids here is I haven't got to climb over the bucket to get into it. Exactly, yeah, there's definitely a health and safety aspect. Yeah. But so if I, was to, if I was to purchase that, what sort of money are you looking at? Uh, I mean, everything's expensive these days, Ian. Oh, I know that, yeah. The quality in a product that will last, uh, you want to pay yeah. a little bit more yeah. than, a, than yeah. a cheaper alternative. I mean, they're, they're going to be late sort of 30s. Right, OK. Um, yeah. Would that get over your grain lorry? No. Do a grain trailer, I think. Yeah, do, yeah. They do, as I say, they do model slightly bigger. Yeah. Yeah. But nowhere for the dog, that's a, yeah. Well, let's not make it a deal breaker. <laughs> that's, I mean, the roof, <coughs> nice big roof as well. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if a dog will appreciate going on the roof. Yeah. But, uh, have to put a kennel like a yeah. like Snoopy. 
Yeah. <laughs> You'd have, you'd have to try hard, quite hard to break it, wouldn't you? The amount of metal that they're putting in this, and it is proper like metal, it's not... But real metal. And it's not, no, not, it's not, not, not that chocolate, Chinese. not that chocolate it's, metal. It's not Chinese. It's proper metal. <laughs> yeah. German metal. Exactly. It's probably a bit of tiger tank in there somewhere in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All your linkage, your crowd linkage through here. These pins yeah. either side. Yeah, that is a big old piece of steel in there, isn't it? So. In other models, you can get SLT or, or standard. I probably could actually stuff something in the back of that so the dog probably would fit no, there. No, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, I think, I think you know, if I push yeah. the cushion down the back of there... Yeah, well, I'd have to have a bit of mesh in there so <laughs> she can't fall at the back. So. Yeah, there might be a bit of howling going on. <laughs> you know, when I went up and saw, met Ollie, Ollie Harrison up at uh, Lama, he took one look at me and he goes, you're the bloke with the dog on his shoulder. And I said, and that's the yeah, same yeah, with you, yeah. Miss. No, Ian would do, but, yeah, but you're the bloke with the dog on his shoulder. Yeah. So 20 between that one and that one. As in, in, in telescopic, As in, okay. you can get the same with fixed booms. Okay. And then when you go up to the big stuff, then it's just telescopic. Right, okay. So, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. What I want is a small version of that. Yeah. Yeah, well, say case, case do do one. We've, these are our sort of first machines we've got in, really. Yeah. Uh, that one's actually sold already to a customer trading in a competitive yellow brand. A competitive yellow brand? Yes. All oh, right, okay. Um, and then that one will be our demonstrator there. Right. Which is seven, seven meter, four ton. Yeah. I'd say bring it there and let me have a play, but there's no way I'm ever going to buy it, so it'd be pointless. If it's coming, <laughs> if it's coming past the door and you've got a job to do, maybe move some straw or something. Yeah. yeah. Put a bucket on, I'll push a shit heap up. Oh, there you go. Yeah. yeah. There's a pickup hitch as well on there. Yeah. Boom suspension and things. I like the colour. Well, it, so, it matches your case it already. It matches, yeah, 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 it does, yeah. And it's actually a derivative of your MXU engine. So it's oh, a is CNH it? engine. Okay. And it's the same, I believe, the four and a half litre out of the Maxims. Which is the is the evolution? From yeah, the mine's the four and a half litre. Yeah, yeah. So it probably, other than that blue, it wouldn't be huge. Yeah, that's a bit. That's a bit that puts me off. All these things is that thinking, add blue. Yeah. It's so. um. It's more the. It's not the engine or the add blue that's an issue. It's more the way the add blue stored sometimes. It, it's pretty. Yeah. It, like a day like this, if it was in a, it's a if it was in an outside barrel, yeah. it just evaporates and condenses in and out the tank, and then it starts crystallising and mm. it's um. Yeah. But then even modern diesels not the same, is it? No. You get diesel sit for too long and it yeah. diesel bug and yeah. that can. Well, every time we get a load delivered, I have the liters of blooming bug killer in it, so killer, just yeah. put it in there just, yeah. Yeah. just in yeah, case. Yeah. So. Yeah. so that cab yes. won't be dissimilar to the one on mine then? Uh, I mean, the, the cab frame, the frame is, is exactly is, the same. Yeah. 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 So Actually, It's got the newer lid on it. Yeah. A um, bit more shapey and yeah, curvy and sexy. Styled, LED yeah. Light. Uh, there's, there's been a fair few updates in the cab since, since your yeah. to you. Uh, but they've just. But under the skin, they're not that dissimilar. A lot, a lot of the componentry. Yeah. yeah. There, there would be still similar parts on that one to yours. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. And then oh. now they evo the evolution of the cab is to this new AFS yeah. Connect cab. Right. So that is actually. Uh, it's still a lot bigger. Still four. We can go over there if you want. Still, so still four posts. Four posts. posts yeah. yeah. So no, we we looked at the Massey a year or so back. But for me, hedge trimming with the four posts, yeah. so much easier. Oh, for sure, yeah. Yeah, that's a beastie, isn't it? 260, yeah, this is a demonstrator. So if that was a new one, what would it be called? Uh, it'd be a T7 300HD, yeah. I believe. I'm not 100% sure. Looks nice in red, though, doesn't it, that new one? It's, it's yeah. a nice colour. Yeah. 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 That's the only reason we took on shapers, because it matched the... Uh, uh, everything the else, yeah. yeah. Well, it does, yeah. it's all red, isn't it? There's no is now in our favourite colour. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, we now red has to be our favourite colour, whether yeah. we like it or not. Yeah. No. Yeah, so a completely new new generation cab, 
yeah. whisper quiet. I think it's got one of the lowest cab noises Is it? on the market in this class. It's got all the cab suspension and everything else? This one's, yeah, uh, this one's a, a mechanical spring cab suspension. Right. And then the other two options are hydraulic. Okay. So you can get three cab suspension options from the factory. If you spend all day in something, man, you want it to be comfortable, didn't you? Oh, for sure. And, and mm. especially the job that tractors do over bumpy ground all the time. Yeah. Um, if you were just driving along a nice smooth road, yeah. it wouldn't be so bad. Mm. So believe it or not, one of these, or two of these, have got remote central locking. Really? Key, keyless start with a push button start. Right. Uh, they've got subwoofers in the cab. Spoiled. Leather seats, heated, and, vent and you can have actually a passively ventilated seat. Yeah. So you've got certain levels of comfort that wouldn't be uh, yeah. unseen in a room. That your grandfather would think, what on earth's going on? Uh, yeah. Yeah. But the hours that people are doing now... Yeah. It, well, it's all day, isn't it? It is all day. You know, and 50, so, 60 hours a week and yeah. you want to be comfortable. Yeah. So. You're, you're expecting one man nowadays to do a job that you might have 50 years ago would have been 10. Yeah. If not more. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, nice piece of kit. A nice place to stay. And the crate... Dump it on the top of the IDC. Is it? Yeah. There's a few other bits of red around here. It's a bit big for me. It's probably a bit big for me. That's kind of more my size. What are you? 120. Yeah, that would be all right. It did at that time. I wasn't wearing my brave pants, so I declined three times. Three times they tried to get me to drive various machines around the yard with the ball, and it was a case of, uh, no, I know some of the lads here, and I can just imagine that, that if I drop it, I'm never going to live it down, ever. So I, I, do, I very, very bravely declined to drive anything. But nice kit. Uh, the Schaefer's. Um, that kind of machine is not for me. Uh, the case is kind of more my thing, the side boom. I've never really got on with um, pivot steers, but uh, that's not saying I never would. But yeah, that 742 case. It's just the 80 grand Dubai one. Yeah, not this year. So I got back from RFS, just had me lunch, and I just had a phone call from John from Dunfries, subscriber from up in Scotland, and I was just having a chat with him, and I heard this mooing. I thought, what's going on? Looked at the window and said, John, mate, sorry, I'm gonna have to go. Cows are mooing. There's calves out in the yard. There's a gate open somewhere. He said, don't you worry, mate, you carry on. So, so John, when you see this, you'll know I wasn't telling you porky pies. There really is a couple of calves out. And I've grabbed the camera, no battery in it. Brilliant. Right. So where exactly? Ah. Right. Okay. So we've worked out how they got out. Fortunately, not enough space for cows to get out as well. 
Mm. So you where's the, where's the chain? Right. So we got to get them back in again now. <sighs> fun, fun, fun. First job. Let's shut that gate up. Second job is going to be to put all of them in there. And then I'm going to have to go and recover those little devils. Which is going to be quicker. It might be quicker to actually chuck them out. If I chuck you out, because there's more out than there is in. <coughs> go, on. go on, you little devils. Go on, get out. Go on. Out, out, out. And then what we do, we open this one. Right. Is it three or four of them there? I can't remember. There's one. Little galloper. There's another one. Go on. In you go. Where do you think you're going? Right. One. You coming in? No, he says, I'm going that way. Right. So, one at a time it is in. Go on, you. Out you go. Go on. Out you go. Go on. Out. Right, sorry, I'll get the rest of them in it. Don't you worry. Right. He's currently running back round again. Let's get, come here. He's going round that way. Is he going to come down there? There he is. Right, you in there. I bet he's going to run everywhere apart from where I want him to. Don't go beyond the gate. Don't go. Oh. I didn't open the gate enough. Hang on a second. There's more than one way to skin a cat. Nope, 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 nope. <coughs> right, go on, that way. You little tink. No, get out of there! You! Little monkey. Right, is that all of them? There was. How many was out? Four. Have I got all four back in? Let's just. Go around the yard. There might be something that's hiding somewhere. Anything that way? No? Okay. How about this way? Anything down here in here? I think we've got them all. I think if there was one out, it would be still running around the place. And they've, they've shut up. They're not moving as much now, so... I think we've done it. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, you didn't have to come in and get mucky. If you don't sit in it, although that is a dry, at least that is a dry spot there. All right. <sighs> hey. They'll always surprise you, livestock. They'll always do something unexpected. I don't know where the chain's gone off that gate. I don't know if that chain's been off that gate since I took the two steers last week because I know I used it, but I thought I'd put it back. I think while they're out of there, 
we might just get in here, have a bit of a tidy up. Yeah, I might as well. Right, I've just come back up the house to get my overs on. And that calf is not looking as well again today, so I've just mixed him up another dose of um, electrolytes. I thought I'd just say, um, well, I've got opportunity. Pity Squat is pretty much finished now. Electrician's been back, so all the extra security lights are on. And you may notice also, thank you very much to the kind gentleman who sent me that. It's now on the wall. And while I'm thanking folks for signs, thank you also to the very kind gentleman who sent me that one. So I was going to put that inside. I've forgotten your name. It's written on your name and the date you gave me is written on the back of that. And the name of the guy who gave me that one is written on the back of that. But the electricians very kindly put them up for me before I transferred the names off the back of the signs onto a bit of paper. So I could, I could thank you, but you know who you are. So we no longer need this. That can come off because now we have that. Oh yeah. And that. So I was asked, why are you putting both signs up? And I said, well, do you know what? People walking in and down the footpath, they're going to see that. And I'm kind of opening, hoping, hoping that as people walk past that, it'll put a smile on their face. If it does nothing else other than as people walk past it, they'll put it, go look at that piddly squat, that's funny. If that's all it does, it's absolutely worth it. Right, we're going to go and give this to that little calf before it gets too blinking cold. Um, and then we're going to do some mucking out. Right. All right, little man. Right, are you going to bolt out of there the second I come in there? To... He's not very well, but even though he's not very well, he's still a darn sight faster than I am. So I don't know if I can do this holding the camera. No, you just stay there. Just stay there. Just stay there. Oh, I just want to give you a bit of this. All right. Just want to give. I'd rather you'd stayed laying down, actually. That would have been better. All right. Medicine. Swallow. Swallow. He is still taking milk from Mum. And I know he's drinking because I've seen him having a drink out of that water trough over there. If it, there's a bit left in the jug. I think we're just going to leave him for half an hour while I muck out and then we can give him a bit more the last of it. So I don't want him getting dehydrated. Are you happy there? Hey, are you? You happy there? How about you? You happy there? Yeah, they're happy enough. Do you remember I thought there might be one more calf out and that uh, I wasn't sure? Well, the wanderer has just returned. Right, let's go and chuck this bit of straw out and we can get them all back in again. So, yeah. I, I didn't know how many I got back in. I didn't know if one had snuck in without me noting, noticing, but obviously not because there he is, the little tinker. So, I'm not worried. He's not going to go very far. Uh, I'll chuck this bit of straw about. You'll probably have a little frolic in it while I'm doing it. And, and I can let Mum back in as well then. Right, Tiddly. Mum's coming back in now. We've got a nice clean floor, nice dry bed. They've got plenty of grub to last in a few hours yet. Uh, you're shitty again already. All right, don't know if that's going to happen tonight. That might be tomorrow, actually, if I get into that. I've got other things to do this afternoon. So as long as they've got somewhere dry and clean to lie down, that's the priority for today. Right, so little calf 
has finished all of that um, electrolyte um, drench, which I've given him. There is Mum. Uh, yeah, he's in there. There he is. She does that a lot. She go in there. He, sit, he goes in there at the way. I reckon she's really like a really fussy mum. She's just in there and she just bellows in his ear all. So, like that. Problem is, when she sticks her head in there to do it, it's like a bloody amplifier, isn't it? You're what we call a proper noisy cow, you are. Yeah, you, talking to you, noisy. So I'm a bit concerned about the car. I mean, that's, we don't usually get this problem, but I think this year's exceptional wet and mild weather, I mean, how many frosts have we had really to speak of? I've, I've not emptied my roller out properly, all right, it's in the barn, but I've not had a single night where I've been concerned about the roller freezing up, not one. And I think that's possibly the problem is, um, They've been in there so long, there's probably such a massive buildup of bacteria and bugs in that barn. Strictly speaking, by now, they should be out there. But it's gonna be a couple more weeks yet, at least.